good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Hope you're having a God bless Sunday. I most certainly am. The weather in the neighborhood is beautiful. I'm telling y'all, I was out and about yesterday. It was beautiful in the 60s. My kind of weather, y'all. I'm excited about this weather. I thank God for every day. But when he uh, rolls fall around, I'm even the more thankful because, honey, to me, this time is leading into the most beautiful time of the year, which is Christmas, the holidays. Y'all know I love the holidays, but I love this weather. This weather is just, I couldn't ask for anything more than this, except for it stay like it is. So, hope y'all are having a God bless Sunday. Hope you got something good on the menu today. I've got something real nice and simple that I'm going to be preparing today. Y'all know I'm going to be fixing something. Unlike last Sunday, I was just pure tired. So, Tanya went and got some cold cuts. I made up a few things, and we just put together a smorgasbord of cold cuts, and it was real good, y'all. We ate a lot of food. As y'all can see, we had all kinds of meats on that menu. So, today, it's going to be an easy meal. In this pan here, I'm going to start pan frying some, um, oh, I got my rice on too high. Y'all excuse me a minute. I almost had a rice crisis. I had my rice on that back burner. But I thought I had it on low, but it's actually it was on high. So I said, honey, you have to be mindful. When you're in this kitchen, baby, you got to be real mindful of what's going on. And that's me. I'm always looking. I'm nosy when it comes to taking care of business in this kitchen. So, whew, thank you, Jesus, for that watchful eye that you gave me. Because I'm here to tell you, I was about to have to... Uh, Start over with my rice, y'all. I don't need to do that. Y'all know I'm like the I turned that burner in one direction and it should have been in another. And one thing about food, you know, we're going to get back to what I'm actually cooking, but I always remember one thing. When you're cooking, you have to tune in to what you're cooking. And eventually, I'm going to get my cookbook done because I talk a lot about not just seeing and smelling food you gotta feel what you're cooking and long before sometimes i smell something get ready to you know burn or scar or scorch or stick i can feel it so i kept feeling that rice i thought it was just getting to a certain point too quick i had turned again i had turned that uh, burner in the opposite direction of what it should have actually been turned in and so it was drying out and was beginning to stick and it was browning on the bottom. That's what I was smelling. I was smelling that browning. So, I saved the rice. I saved it. I'm going to be making some dirty rice today. So, I need my rice. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep right on with what I'm doing. And I just took my rice out of that pot and put it into this bowl. Let me go ahead and cover it because it, it does need to. It can finish just a little bit of cooking. I have a little bit more cooking time so what i'm going to do in that bowl i just took my lid and sit it right down in there and that steam will finish cooking how about that okay Whew. so now like i said when i'm videoing and things go wrong in here i'll show you because i want you to know how to recover when things do go wrong if it's not too burned if it gets burn burn you're gonna have to start it over thank god i didn't have to start that one over it was just sticking so what I'm going to go ahead and do now because I need to get it moving. I'm doing. I'm going to be doing some lima beans. So I'm going to go ahead and do those lima beans first. I got a pound and a half of lima beans to cook. So I got this pan on the back right there with one strip of bacon and some chicken bouillon. Now y'all you know I use this. Let me show you. Chicken tones, chicken bouillon, real, real good mix up just like chicken stock so i'm just gonna pour that pound and a half of limas right in there it takes them about 45 minutes to cook and then i've got another bag that's left over that i cooked some other time when those get done i'm gonna add this is about another four servings i'll add that to it so i only need one pack today so we're just gonna let that go ahead and start cooking i got one strip of bacon in there and i've got that uh, chicken bouillon seasoning I'm going to sprinkle 
a teaspoon of uh, onion powder in there and some complete seasoning and then I'll be adding the other butter beans in and, and they'll blend in and they'll be seasoned just right now the other thing beside the dirty rice and the lima beans of course I'm going to do a little small pan of cornbread and then I'm going to uh, get in there then I'm going to do some Vidalia chicken something I haven't done lately you may have uh, see me do the Vidalia chicken. Nonetheless, you'll get to see it today. So what Vidalia chicken is, it's actually some chicken. I've already seasoned it last night. I got 17, 18 uh, thighs and drumstick mixture. So I've seasoned them up with all my usual seasonings last night and let it sit and marinate. So what I'm going to do now is just pan fry them and sear them and get them browned up a little bit and then they're going to come out and go into a pan and I'm going to be using like I said this is a good healthy dinner but you know real simple this Vidalia onion vinaigrette pour that over there I'm going to saute some peppers onions and uh, some celery and we're going to have us some good old Vidalia onion chicken That's, it's just that simple to make it's a real simple dish um, I think the first time I ever had it, my girl Barb, um, made it. Oh, I'm sorry. She made it at her restaurant. And I fell in love with it. And that the day onion season, if you've ever had it before, you'll know it's, it's kind of, I'm so sorry. It's, it's a safe, you know, the sweet and, and uh, sour and salty. All of it mixed in and it is wonderful. It's a great blend. It's already mixed. Sam's Club, you get two nice size bottles for, um, I think it's not even $7. It's a real ridiculous cheap price. So, what I'm going to do is go ahead and start putting these drumsticks and thighs. And you can use any part of the chicken. Y'all know I'm a drumstick thigh wing person. I'll do breast a lot. Breast for me tend to be a little bit dry, but. They do okay, but you have to tend them. You have to tend them. So I'm doing drumsticks and thighs, y'all. And the purpose of this is not to get these this chicken uh, done, but it's to brown. I left some of the skin on, as you can see, of the uh, thighs. They're good size. I'm not trying to cook this all the way through. I'm merely trying to cook it. To the point where it has a nice brown because I like my meat and my gravy. I don't like white chicken or, or now you know when you do like a um, gravy for stuffing, that's a light gravy but not a white gravy. So I don't do a lot of white gravy. I can't think of any time where I would do white gravy. I like the nice brown gravy. Just somehow it looks more appetizing. I'm going to stick one more in there. So, I'm going to end up with two, these two pans of chicken. It's going to take about 10 minutes on each side. Got that heat all the way up on high. And then while that is cooking, I'm going to switch burners. And I'm going to get me another skillet right here. And I'm going to start on my dirty rice. Since the rice is pretty much done. Uh, let me go ahead and grab my other skillet. And I will return, y'all. So hang in there. If you're going to cook along with me, run on in there in the pantry, in the cupboard, in the refrigerator, freezer. If you got to thaw out something, you got plenty of time to thaw because I hadn't thawed some extra uh, ground meat for my dirty rice. So you got time. Go ahead and get it. I'll wait on you. Okay, so hold on. I'll be right that back in just a few seconds. Okay, we're going to get the um, dirty rice start. I'm calling it double dirty rice. Um just because I want to call it that, I guess. Uh, let's see. Let me just grab all of my everything but the kitchen sink out of here. Onion powder. I got to get some garlic going. Got lots of ingredients to go into the dirty rice. 
So what I'm going to start out with is sauteing uh, my bell pepper, celery, and onion. I've already ground them up in my little food processor. I got about a good cup and a half of veggies. I'm going to saute them. Then I'm going to start adding the meat in. And we're going to brown it up real good. And um, we just start adding all the veggies in together. And then we'll get the rice going. And we'll have some dirty rice, y'all. So here we go with, uh, I've already ground my peppers and onions. Just gonna go ahead and get them going. And I've got this on high heat because I want these to saute. Not, um, I don't want a lot of water in there, in other words. I'm just going to saute and brown it real good. Okay. And I've got olive oil in my pan, y'all. As you can hear, that chicken over there. I've turned it one time so it's fine. So that's about how we want it to go into the pan when we get ready to put the salt on so it'll be pretty and brown. So that chicken is cooking nicely. Um, okay. Like I said, make sure you keep that heat up high on those onions and peppers so they'll go ahead and brown up and won't have a lot of oil up. Won't have a lot of water in the pan. We don't want any water in that pan. We just want to brown nicely and in about five minutes I'm gonna put the ground beef in. I'm using some Italian I'm using a half a pound of Italian ground sausage in there. And then I'm gonna use ground turkey so got two different meats but I'm not using any livers you know you can use chicken livers I, I am aware that that's a way to make um, dirty rice and you know people who make it that way make it that way I make it that way sometimes I thought I had some livers but I don't get gizzards so I could do gizzards but gizzards are hard to get chopped up enough like you want them so we're using ground turkey and ground Italian sausage. The process is going to be one and the same as to how it's cooked. So, it's going to take a minute or two. Okay. Now, while that is cooking, I'm going to go ahead. This is my everything in the kitchen cabinet seasoning. This is my onion, uh, garlic powder, onion powder, celery salt, garlic powder, just every dry ingredient that I had up there in the cabinet of course in that little brush just sprinkled on there. And I'm going to course add some extra um, garlic powder, onion powder. I'm going to add some minced garlic to it as well. Get my chicken is almost ready over there. Get that first pan full out so we can get that next pan in. You just want to get the pretty good brown on it so you just start taking it out of the pan. Well, since we're, we're waiting on the onions, it, yeah, you can see over there. I'm starting to take the chicken out of the pan. Get it right here. So you can see what I'm doing. That is nice and brown. Nice and brown. Okay. Okay. So we'll return shortly. Okay, I have now added the ground turkey and the ground um, Italian sausage in there. We're going to let it just sit in there and brown. The uh, onions and peppers, the veggies, are all uh, browned up. I'm just going to take them out. That's quite a bit of meat. I'm going to need that entire skillet. And I'm going to dump them right back in there in a few, few minutes as soon as this uh, ground turkey gets it, like I want it. Okay, so we're going to put it off to the side. And just keep it moving now. I got my first pan of chicken out. Like I said, this is going to be a nice hearty dinner, but it's not a very difficult meal at all. Just a little bit of prep. Now, the one thing else that I'm going to add into that, 
I'm gonna put a tablespoon of my minced garlic. Let's take it. A good healthy tablespoon of that minced garlic in there. Mints are fresh, or if you just got garlic powder, either one will do. I'm gonna go ahead and put everything but the kitchen sink or seasoning in there. Okay. This has a little salt content. I'm going to be putting some Worcestershire sauce in there, which will uh, also give it a little salt flavor. But with all these seasonings in there, this is going to be so good and tasty. Y'all know what uh, dirty rice tastes like. And it's going to be double dirty, y'all. I'm going to make it double dirty. How about that? That sound good? Okay. So we're just going to keep, we're going to let this stay in there until it gets nice and browned up. And then I'll start putting in the rice. And we're going to have dirty rice. Excuse me. Okay, y'all, everything is cooking along, along lovely. The ground meat is almost there. I'm just letting it brown, brown, brown. And you know, uh, I've got to put some sage in there. So I need me about a three quarters of a teaspoon of sage. Well, here I can take the top off. I need about. Let's try a half a teaspoon of sage in there right now. And of course, y'all know I'm going to put some complete seasoning in there. Put me a, a tablespoon or a teaspoon of complete seasoning in there. Oh, that's all of that you got. So, now I'm going to go ahead and add my. See what that the uh, juice in that meat is drying up somewhat, and that's what I want it to do. I don't want a lot of juice in there. So, get that all mixed in together. And you know, um, Worcestershire sauce, I put, uh, I've already put a half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce in there. Get my little thing out here. See what's going on here, y'all. That's wonderful right there. I can turn it off now, y'all. And then I'm going to go ahead and start adding my rice in. Now, at this point, I don't know if I need additional um, seasoning to cook it. That's perfectly seasoning right now. But I got all this rice to put it in. So we're going to do that. And I'll be able to move this on over and be done with the rice. I don't want this rice to really cook a lot more. Just the mixing process. It does not need to cook anymore. So here's what I want to do. I, my, my meat is right where I want it to be. So what I'm going to do is take it. Off the burner. Which is done. And I'm letting my rice cool down a little bit because I don't want it to cook anymore. Now, my chicken is pretty much done, so I can sit it there on that burn. It's hot, but it, it'll work. You yeah, have sizzling, so I'm gonna get all my chicken out. But now I need to get all my peppers and onions sauteed to make that Vidalia onion gray. It's gonna be a grater to go over this meat. Okay. Yeah. Everything is browned up just like I want it. Okay. First, everything first is perfect, perfectly brown. So, now what I am going to do, I need to pour some of the oil that I was cooking that uh, chicken in. I need to pour some of it out of the pan. I don't need that much. I don't need this much to do my saltine, so I'm just going to pour it. Oh, wow, that's a lot. 
get the camera over here and I'm just gonna start sauteing I'm leaving all of that goodie in the bottom of that pan for that uh, for, to make that gravy because it's just gonna be a matter of sauteing and all my onions and peppers and whatnot this one piece of onion I did not cut up yet I'm gonna just start slicing it in the pan and make sure that it's still is good and hot Good and hot. And we, we've gone over many times, we've sauteed our uh, veggies many times before, so it's a straightforward process of how to saute. I'm, I'm going to need to pour back a little bit more of my oil. I need a little bit more oil than that. Because i got quite a few veggies to saute here. For this uh, Vidalia onion gravy. Put that back over there. And as you can see, I've got my little container of peppers. I got red, orange, and yellow, and green peppers, and of course onions, and a few slices of celery. So I'm going to put everything in there. that heat up high and just let it soft it because it's gonna it's gonna take a good 10 minutes and then it doesn't have to cook all the way through but just far enough um because I'm gonna go ahead and pour that uh, gravy that um Vidalia onion vinaigrette seasoning right on top of it so this is that the day onion just makes the best it's like a sweet and sour gravy almost and now i'm putting you know about a, a good it's not why it's not coming out right but anyway a good let me show you this a good teaspoon of, of that seasoning the everything in my cabinet seasoning put that in and i'm going to put another a teaspoon couple teaspoons of Next garlic, okay. Get it all in. Get it all in. Some uh, onion powder. Couple of tablespoons. A couple of teaspoons of onion powder. Okay. Do I need anything else, y'all? I think maybe not. Okay. So we're just gonna let all of that goodness sit there and just saute. may have to put a tiny bit more oil in there because I don't want it to brown too much on the bottom. I just want it to saute, but I don't want it to make any juice either. So I'm keeping that heat up high now until my veggies get nice and wilty to pull that flavor out of it. And I don't want to put too much oil in it at the same time. I think I got enough oil in there. And we've got the seasoning going on there. How about that? That's my little cute contain a clotted butter. Of course, you know I got that from Bob. I'm going to be putting a little bit, just about a half a teaspoon of my um, chicken bouillon paste, I'm going to call it. Just a little bit, because now, remember we got to go in with the uh, Vidalia. i got to figure out what pan I'm going to use as well. I think the pan that I've got the chicken in, I don't know, maybe big enough. We're going to find out here shortly. Oh, yeah, I can use it because I the last time I purchased these pans, guess what else I purchased? I purchased the pots that go with them. I'm going to see if, if everything will fit in there. I'm going to bake it right in this pan. I'm going to put a double pan and bake it right in the pan because I think once I pour that gravy on top, I believe the lid will fit, y'all. 
We might have something going on here. Give that another stir. And let's grab a lid from up top. I am so excited that I decided to invest in the pots that go to the pan. That way I don't have to worry about trying to put foil on them, tear the foil and all that kind of tear them on. And then this pan here, when I'm done with the baby, I'm going to throw it right in the trash. Oh yeah, I'm going to make this work. Yeah, it's going to work. It's fine. If it don't, I'll just have to do foil. Okay. Here we go. And I think our veggies are ready to go. Let's see what we got here. Get this up, and I got a whole new bottle, and I think this is a 32 ounce bottle. Let's see. We're gonna find out. This is a. Let's get back here. This is a 30 ounce bottle. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is go ahead and pour. I'm gonna turn the heat from under that burner. Matter of fact, I'm going to get it all the way off that burn as far as I can. Let's switch sides. I don't mind if the chicken, um, I don't want, I don't want those dark things there, man. So we just break those right out. I don't want a lot of them. I mean, I don't care if a few gets in there, but we don't want a lot of them in there. Okay. Okay. Okay, that did that. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and start pouring in my just pour it right in there. Just pour it right on in there. An entire bottle may be all I need, or I might need more. Okay. Yeah. I think that's going to do it. I think uh, about three, four, three quarters of that bottle was what I needed. Okay. Get it stirred up like so. This is some good stuff, y'all. And it's just that simple. That's how you make that Vidalia onion gravy. It has the best part change of taste that you can ever taste. And then you, you got the onions and the peppers going to be cooked all in. So what I'm going to do right here, right now, is go ahead and just pour all that goodness on top of that chicken. You see, chicken now has to go into the oven for an hour. And just make sure it goes down through there really nicely like that. Isn't that pretty, y'all? Doesn't that remind you of fall? That's why I put all the different color peppers on there because all the fall colors, the oranges and the yellows and uh, the green, you know, some of the, the evergreen trees are still out, so we still got green out there. So, y'all know I love the pretty food. And, of course, you know the chicken now is going to make some juice because, remember, this chicken is not done cooking yet. So, Let's see. I am sure we're just going to take and put a little bit more like that. We're just about using that whole thing because I want, I want there to be plenty of gravy on this chicken. Okay? Alrighty. So, we got us a pan of Vidalia onion chicken with veggies i didn't do any carrots this time you know carrots has its own flavor and I, I didn't think i wanted that particular flavor in this dish today so you might think about carrots. you can put carrots if you like carrots but i just did not want carrots today this is going to be a wonderful dish it's going to go into a 300 and hmm, 350 degree oven 350 about an hour and 15 minutes, I think, should do it. Shouldn't take any longer than that. And we'll be ready to, when the flavor train comes along, we'll be ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy a great meal. How about them apples? Okay, so everything's in the pan. I'm just going to put a lid over it. 
And we're hoping that it's going to cooperate and fit over there nicely like so. I believe it's going to fit. There it goes. It does. It fits really nicely, nicely, nicely. There it is. It fit perfectly. These are pans here are a lifesaver, y'all. If you ever have the opportunity to purchase them, they are so inexpensive. The pans, I get like 30 of them for 8 bucks and then 30 tops for 6 or 8 bucks. Not bad at all. Under $20. So this is going into the oven for an hour and about an hour and a half. And we'll be right back, y'all. Okay, y'all, I'm back to finish off this um, dirty rice. I also added just a dab of browning and seasoning sauce by Kitchen Bouquet. Now, uh, don't use it if you don't know how, because if you use too much, you can get in trouble. You only have, to, when, it, when they tell you a little bit goes a long way, please believe them. Don't think because it's in that little bottle you have to use a lot. What Kitchen Bouquet does, I learned a long time ago with my mom, grandma, it browns. And it also seasons. It's salty. It has, I don't know what that secret ingredient that if you use too much of it, it's over. Okay, so I put a little bit because I wanted to make that rice double dirty. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to start just stirring the rice in. I'm going to go ahead and do half of it. I did season my rice up a little bit, not a lot. Which is, you know, the everything but the kitchen sink seasoning. Uh, my phone is buzzing. What is going on? Okay, I forgot to hang it up, y'all. Anyway, so just start mixing that rice into that meat, and it just comes out just perfect. Isn't that pretty? Put the rest of that rice in there, and I got me a big old pan of dirty rice. Big old pan of dirty rice. You're not uh, cooking anymore. You're just mixing at this point. And once you get it all mixed, of course, taste and see if you need to put any more seasoning in there to put, continue to pull it together now. Okay. The, one of the little other things that I'm going to add after I get everything mixed, because I like a little fire in there. I'm going to put me a little bit of jerk seasoning in there, because I think dirty rice, I believe, is a Jamaican dish. I believe, I believe, I know we, we've made it all my life, and I didn't know anything about it being a Jamaican dish, but I, I think it's one of uh, in that cuisine is one of the specialties. So, in honor to my girl Bob's heritage, I'm going to add some jerk seasoning. Not by the little though. I mixed, I can't remember whatever I mixed in there to calm it down because I had messed around and bought the hot. I cannot do hot. Okay, so I'm going to do Oh my gosh, good. Just a little bit. Okay. I'm trying to remember what did I make one day and honey, I conjured up something. Oh, fish. I did fish one night. And I must have done right because I wanted that Jamaican jerk seasoning so bad. And then I mixed something with it. And honey, it came out real. It has a little sweet taste to it. So we'll add a little oomph to my rice here today. Okay. So we got our dirty rice. Got our dirty rice. Now Tanya and Tony would love it if I loaded it up with some jalapenos, but I have to give them theirs on the side. We can't, me and Tansy can't do them jalapenos. I think Kareem even liked that hot stuff too, I believe. Yeah, he does. So let's see. I'm going to put about five red pepper flakes in there. Okay. That's it, y'all. I can't, I'm, I just can't. And this, this is just for taste. Just a little bit of taste. You know what I'm saying. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of that hot stuff. Because it makes it taste so good. You can't put too much that it give you the hiccups. Don't you hate when you eat hot food and it give you the hiccups? I can't do it. Can't do it, y'all. But it, now my husband, honey, he could eat it till he sweats. I can't eat like that. Okay, 
there it is, y'all. Peggy's is Jamaican. I'm sorry. I got Jamaican jerk. See, I just love that flavor for my um, dirty rice. Peggy's double dirty rice is what I'm calling it, y'all. Okay, it's pretty too. Okay, so everything is pretty much ready. I got to wait on the, the lima beans and the chicken. I'm going to go ahead and do my cleanup. And when I come back, we're going to sit back, relax, and enjoy the flavor train. Should pull it. Oh, yeah. I got to make a little old pan of cornbread, but I'll get that done just short. Okay, I'm back. All that's left to prepare is the cornbread. I'm just going to make a small pan. So I got to just my small little mixing dish here. I've got one and a fourth cups of um, cornmeal. I got oil in my pan here. I always put oil, some oil in the pan. And I'm going to also spray my little tins. Sometimes I'll save these little pie tins. They make good pans for cornbread. Spray it real good. Set it to the side. And I've got my oil. I got um, half a cup of oil and a fourth of a cup of sugar in there. And I'm going to put one egg in there. It's going to be a thin pan of bread. Nobody probably really wants bread, but you know if you got lima beans, you got to have a little bit of cornbread. I know the last couple of times nobody really wanted cornbread, but I always freeze it and the kids eat it later. But I'm just going to make a small pan. Cornbread is so simple to make. And you see how that consistency there with that milk and I'm sorry, with the uh, oil. So I'm going to pour, let's try about a fourth of a cup of milk in that. I should have got a bigger bowl. But you get the gist of it. So all I'm doing with this is just like I say, a cup and a fourth of um, meal, fourth cup of oil, fourth cup of sugar, and one egg. And I'm going to put it in my little pan there and bake it. At, well, it's already, the oven's already set up on 350 because the chicken is still cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bread in. So by the time, let's see, we got about another 30 minutes on that chicken. Well, if I put the bread in at 3, because usually you cook, I cook the bread at 375 to 400. So if I go ahead and put the bread in now, 30 minutes out, and it's only just 350. It'll be done when the chicken gets done. And that'll give me time to go get freshened up. How's that for time? Okay. All right, so that's it as far as uh, dinner is uh, concerned. I think I need, I didn't put enough. Need a little bit more sugar. So anyway, I'm going to get this all done, pour it in the pan, and bake it for 30 minutes in this case. But normally cornbread only takes about 20 minutes to bake. Okay, I shall return. And when I return, everything will be ready. Okay, there it goes. Into the pan, y'all. Make a nice little pan of cornbread. Alrighty. So this is a little pie tin. I don't know what kind of. Oh, I know what there is from. When I made some uh, pies, it's from pie shells. So, okay. Into the oven it goes. So that it will. I can up the heat a little bit. I don't want that bread to cook, so I want it to cook like I always cook it. So, I up that heat to 375 because really that's where you should cook cornbread. The chicken's only got another 20 minutes to go, y'all. I shall return. Okay, y'all, dinner is ready. 
There is the double dirty rice, those good old creamy lima beans on the back burner. And of course, y'all know that's that Vidalia onion chicken with those confetti peppers and some cornbread. Like I told y'all, short, sweet, to the point, and hearty. So that's Sunday dinner for today. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. Thank y'all for praying with us. Thank y'all for supporting. And remember to continue to pray without ceasing. Call somebody up and make somebody's day. Do something kind for someone. And keep on praying no matter what. Thank y'all for tuning in. Love you guys. So until the next time I cook y'all, toodaloo.